Hi friends, today we're going to do these um, witches. They look really cute, they can be used in keychains. Recicla conmigo, te vas a divertir. Recycle with me, it will be fun. The materials we're going to need are one pop top, this jumbo size pop top that come in the cat food containers, scissors, lighter, a crochet hook, 2.25 millimeters, la espica nylon core number nine, black color, omega core number two, orange or yellow, and um, we're also going to need more Les Vega core number nine and the color depends on which one you like. I used this one for the hair. Um, this is yellow, brown and also white. Let's get started. So we're going to do single crochet stitches all around the pop top. I don't tell you this exact number of stitches because what I try to do is cover the pop top completely. And to start the tutorial, I'm going to be using this brown color because, because the real project that I'm doing is in black color, like this one. So the tutorial is going to be part brown and part black. So we're going to start with the single crochet stitches. And remember, I always leave a long strand of cord, which I'm hiding as I'm crocheting. and it's all single crochet and at the same time that we're crocheting we're going to push back the stitches so all around until we get here We're going to close with the slip stitch and the first stitch that we did. This is what we're going to do next. We're going to start working on the hat. So uh, since I don't want to cut the cord and I need to start working at this level, this is what we're going to do. We're going to uh, turn over our work, turn our work over, and we're going to do slip stitches until we reach the level that we want to start working on. So I don't know how many stitches I'm going to do. I'm just going to calculate where I want to start working. Let me see. Yeah, no. So I want to start working on this stitch. So that's going to be my the base of my hat. And we're going to do three chain stitches. One, two, and three. And then turn. And we're going to bring the crochet hook to the third stitch and we're going to do a single crochet and then more single crochet until we reach the stitch that levels to the stitch that we have on the other side that we started working on the other side so let's see okay yeah that's going to be my last stitch and we're going to do three chain stitches one two and three and again we're going to uh, turn and bring the crochet hook to the third stitch and do a single crochet and then more single crochet and 
we're going to calculate where we need to start um, doing the body of the hat and to do that we're going to decrease on both sides so this is the stitch where I'm going to start doing my the body of the hat so I'm going to do a slip stitch chain stitch and then single crochet stitches one two and I'm going to do one more and then a slip stitch here and then turn bring the crochet hook to the, to the second stitch because we need to start decreasing and then a chain stitch single crochet and then a slip stitch again turn bring the crochet hook to the second stitch a slip stitch chain stitch and a slip stitch and one last time this is so this is not being centered or a little bit we need uh, we're going to do one last chain um, slip stitch and we're ready to cut the cord hide the excess and burn the ends this is ready this is almost ready and to add the orange line that divides the body with the base of the hat I'm going to use a an orange color thread or cord this is um, Omega core number two but if you don't have that that's fine which you just need to use a different color of the one that you're using to do the witch and the first stitch is going to be a single crochet and then the rest of the stitches are going to be slip stitches and we need to bring the crochet hook among these stitches and bring a loop and single crochet again it's just I'm sorry slip stitch all of these are slip stitches and slip stitch and the last one will be a single crochet and we're ready to cut the cord hide the excess cord and burn the ends and now we're going to add some hair and we're going to work on the back side of the pop top not the front the back and we're going to use the stitches that are right here in the base and try to find the uh, the cord or the stitch that is right behind so that the hair is not going is not visible on the front so. and we're going to bring a loop through that stitch and depending on how long you want the hair to be we're going to cut I'm going to leave it that long and we're going to cut the cord And we're going to repeat this step about four or four, about four times more, depending on how um, how much hair you want on the witch. I did five on this one, so I'm going to do the same with this one.
here is the, the witch of the tutorial. I made this one with white hair. I'm using these uh, witches as a pair of earrings, which I have already worn. And people ask me where I bought them, and I told them I made them. So, well, I hope you liked the idea. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook at Erika Creativa. And um, I have live tutorials every Saturday. Thank you, and I will see you next time.